Have you seen these headlines? Google has been fined a billion dollars. Facebook has been fined a billion dollars. And Uber has been fined $165 million. What's your point? Notice what they all have in common? I guess you're going to tell me? My dear fellow, of course I am. They're all built on Linux. And none of them use unikernels. Unikernels? Let me explain. It all started 50 years ago when Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson were building Unix on an ancient computer, the PDP-11. It cost half a million dollars to make and weighed the same as five medium-sized elephants. Now, of course, if you're going to build a machine that expensive, it needs to turn quite a profit. So it was designed to allow multiple users with multiple processes to operate it. Of course. But in 1991, a Finnish student named Linus Torvalds wanted to make this style of OS free, and this design exploded in popularity. And ever since 2000, when Diane Green and her husband commercialized virtualization, this effectively allowed one physical computer to be subdivided into 15 separate ones, meaning that the number of servers we've effectively been operating has gone through the roof. To make matters worse, when Jeff Bezos created Amazon Web Services, that catalyst the cloud generation, and the number of virtual servers grew exponentially again. The reality is today, if you're an engineer at Uber or Twitter, you don't have one database. You have thousands, pools of app servers, clusters of databases, and thousands of developers looking after them. But the strange thing is, we still use Linux, which was designed for applications on a single bare metal server. Okay, so why does any of this even matter? Because allowing multiple users and programs on your server allows hackers to get into your server and run their own software. They install crypto mining programs or dump your database or just encrypt your data to run ransomware scams. And they can do all that because Linux still has the notion of running multiple applications on one server. That's why Facebook, Google and Uber keep being attacked and keep being fined billions of dollars because of a business decision made 50 years ago. Interesting. So I'm guessing this is where the unikernels come in. Exactly. Unikernels are designed to run a single program, unlike Windows or Linux. This means attackers can't run their own software on your server. So for the vast majority, there's simply no incentive to break in. The triumvirate rise of virtualization, the cloud, and burgeoning numbers of software companies means that instead of the operating system existing on one computer, it now exists on thousands of virtual machines. Effectively, we produced so much software that the operating system has moved to a different layer, but we're still pretending that it hasn't. So why aren't more people using unikernels? It seems strange that we're all running vulnerable software with concepts created 50 years ago. Well, maybe people just haven't been told yet. Wow. We should really do something about that.